somebody appreciate the Lord? Amen. Please have your seats in the presence of God. And let's go to the word. And today I want to do the tribulation period part three. You thought I would do the millennium, but I am looking forward to do the millennium. Brothers and sisters, don't miss. Next week, we have three days of prayer and fasting. And through those three days, I will still continue with this. So we will do the millennium kingdom, 1,000 years, miaka elfu moja, wakati kristo, atauleta ufalme, tutakuja na yeye, na tukue na yeye hapa, na miaka hiyo vile itakuwa. Then after that, vile shetani atafungu wa miaka elfu moja. Imagine mahali hakuna shetani. Praise God. Where there is no evil. I am looking forward to minister that. So, today we are doing part three of the tribulation period. Wakati kutakuwa na mahangaiko makubwa hapa duniani. Tribulation period will be seven years only. Lakini ulimwengu utashuhudia. Mambo magumu ambayo from the beginning of the earth until now and afterwards the world, the heavens and the earth will never experience the same. Remember, he ujumbe ni ile ambayo nimekua nikifuatiliza about the second coming of Christ. Kurudi kwa Kristo mara ya pili. So these are the events ambazo zitakuwa wakati Kristo watarudi tena. And the tribulation period will be preceded by the rapture. Rapture comes first. Kunyakuliwa kwa kanisa na the rapture of the church itafanyika pap, within the twinkling of a nigh and we are gone na tunaenda binguni na Kristo then immediately hapo tribulation miaka saba inaanza na itakuwa ni miaka ya magumu mengi then after the seven year tribulation period Kristo atarudi tena pamoja nasi maana hii miaka saba ambapo kutakuwa na ma- mengi na hukumu ya Mungu hapa duniani nasi tutakuwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoo ambayo inaitwa the wedding feast of the lamb praise god kwa hivyo sisi tutakuwa kwenye karamu tutakuwa tuna enjoy pale kwa mawingu uh, hatutakuwa tumefika kule juu binguni kwa Mungu Baba na hatutakuwa hapa duniani tutakuwa i don't know how that will be lakini god will be the one who will be uh, working on that tutakuwa na yeye karamu ya miaka saba. na baadaye ile miaka saba ikiisha na 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 napo hapa duniani miaka saba ile ya maovu itaisha na Kristo tutarudi na yeye tena tukiwa na miili mipya ambayo we call them the glorified bodies na tutakaporudi na Kristo atakuja hapa duniani na ataanza ufalme wake miaka elfu moja. for a thousand years we will be reigning with Christ. Baada ya 1,000 years, na wakati huo ya 1,000 years, uh, shetani atakuwa amefungwa na amewekwa kwenye the abyss, the, 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 the bottomless pit. Lile shimo ambalo limejawa na giza na halina mwisho, hapo ndipo atakuwa amefungwa miaka elfu moja. And from that time, shetani ataachiliwa kidogo. And then ataanza kuleta watu wa, watamuamini. But for us, we will already be glorified. I will be teaching on that. Then, wale ambao walikufa na hawakufufuka mara ya kwanza, wataenda mbele ya mungu, the great white throne of judgment. Na watahukumiwa, shetani pamoja na wao, they will be thrown into the lake of fire 
which burns with sulfur and forever they will remain there. Nae pale, after that, then Jesus, the, not Jesus, but the heavens and the earth, and then there will be the new heavens and the new earth. Nasasa tutakuwa na mungu wetu and the new Jerusalem. I saw new Jerusalem coming like the bride. I want you to hear what I will be teaching on that. Giona Jerusalem ujeruyo kete tamuhiki. Ageme irio kristo. So from that time, the new heavens and the new earth. Ambapo hakuna giza, hakuna jua, hakuna muezi. Hey, Jesus is the sun. Jesus is the light. There is no, imagine, hey, that will be marvelous. And then we shall be eating from the tree of life. And this tree of life, itakuwa inaza, mazao, kila muezi, new fruits. And it will be for the healing of the nations. And so shall we live with the Lord happily thereafter. Amen. Brothers, to Kimaliza here, you will have, and if you follow me closely, you will have understood all Bible prophecy. And you will be able to stand. And doctrinally, you will be very sound. If you follow that. Hakuna mutu wa shakahola atakuja kukuambia atiyakwamba. Hakuna, I, I had the mightiest prophet of God akisema already sijui the pale horse imetokea. It is not true. It is not true. You will never be confused. Follow me as I follow Christ. So today we are dealing with the tribulation period part three. Na ya kwanza tu, we call it the day of the Lord. Hii ni siku ya hasira na gadhabu ya mungu. Wacha hata hasira, ni tunaweka gadhabu. Unajua I can be angry with you, but I can show you my wrath. <laughs> so th this will be a time when God will pour out his wrath. Na uh, there will be three kinds of judgments. Number one we said there will be the seven seals judgment. Who is worthy to break the seals? Nobody was worthy. So John cried. That is Revelation chapter 5. Then he was told, stop weeping. Maana kuna moja ambaya mepatikana. He that is the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of Jesse, has overcome. And he is worthy to take up the scroll and to break the seals and to read from that scroll. Na Biblia inasema, alipoona hivyo. Because it is Revelation chapter 4 and 5. John saw the heavens, the church in heaven. And Revelation chapter 2 and 3, it is church history. Praise God. We have done that, seven parts of the messages. If you have not followed us, go into the social media. We have seven part series message, the church age, from the beginning to the end. Wakati tarumbeta itapigwa. Na baadaye, Revelation chapter 4 and 5, I saw the heavens open. So this is the church in heaven now. Then Revelation chapter 6, this is when now Jesus, verse 1, uh, Jesus now rises and he begins to break the seven seals. And every seal, it introduces a new kind of judgment. There were seven seals. Nazilipo funguliwa, a, a white horse, ambayo imekaliwa na antichrist. Then, when you read the seven seals, the next kind of judgment, immediately after the seven seals, there will be seven trumpets. Seven is the number of perfection and completion. Kwa hivyo, ata kutakuwa na tarumbeta. Today we will learn something amazing. And there will be the seven trumpets. After the seven trumpets, then, indio itakuwa ile zaidi na ovu. The, the whole wrath. There will be the seven bowls, bakuli. Seven bowls judgment. Ya kwamba mungu anachukua 
bakuli ya ghadhabu yake anaiachilia ulimwengu unasikia a third of the whole world imechomeka watu wamekufa and all that will be happening but the good news is for those who have received Christ Jesus tutakuwa kwa harusi praise god but for you who have not received Jesus Christ it's not a laughing matter now is the time accept Jesus receive him as your savior and you will escape the judgment kwa hivyo that is what we have been uh, we have been learning and now we said the tribulation period it has three parts the, the, at the beginning of the seven years the antichrist comes a man of peace then in the middle of the tribulation three and a half years atabadilisha the colors he will not be a man of peace again he will go to jerusalem where we will have the temple na ataingia pale temple and then he will exalt himself above everything that is called god remember the salonian says that and he will say he is god now he will demand to be worshiped na sasa the, the others will reject it and because of that he will begin to fight and because of that a lot of battles will happen but today i want to show you something amazing the third part now sasa nataka tuingie huko ndani then we said at the final three at the final seven years then huyu jamaa ata mobilize ulimwengu wote and all the armies of the world and they will go to megiddo jezreel valley and they will rise against israel brothers and sisters hii vita ya Israel na Palestine wachana nayo I just want to tell you you never know what God is doing and Israel has been in battle has been fought but nobody has ever overcome them and the final thing will happen the antichrist will mobilize the whole armies of the earth na wataenda pale Jezreel valley and then they will come and they will say this is the final thing we want to finish israel and because of that and that is why even today listen the stage is being set how the arab nations they are joining together to fight one common enemy called israel these are the the beginnings of showing you what will happen very possible lakini when antichrist during the la- last seven years when he will be mobilizing them na wameingia kwenye ile jezreel valley and they will be now ready to destroy israel then the lord will appear on the clouds and he will come and he will come with the sword from his mouth and the antichrist will first of all go to fight the lord and that is what we call the battle of amagedon which will be fought at megiddo where we get the word magedon and it is in jezreel valley outside jerusalem lakini when he does that the christ will come he will fight and he will destroy the the antichrist and the beast and all those enemies will be killed and destroyed the antichrist will be bound and the beast na watawekwa kwenye moto they will be cast into the lake of fire then all israel will see we were almost to be destroyed by antichrist lakini sasa tumeona ambaye amekuja na ametuokoa kutokana na mikono ya nani ya antichrist and therefore israel will put they have faith in Christ who has delivered them and therefore all Israel will be saved god is not through with israel and never accept the theology that says we call it in theology the replacement theology replacement theology it is those people who teach that word replacement that the church has replaced israel and everywhere now you read israel put the word church or put your what your name no that is not true god's covenant with israel was everlasting 
And he said, if you can break the covenant of the day and the night so that there is no more day and no more night, then you can break my covenant with Israel. So God's covenant with Israel is eternal. Lakini what is happening? Wakati Israel walimkata Kristo, alipo kuja, in the first coming. They rejected Christ in the first coming. He came to his own. His own rejected him not. And therefore, they crucified him. But during the second coming, they will accept him because he will come and deliver them. Therefore, kwa sababu walimkata, waliwe kwa kando. They were kept parking so that the number of the Gentiles, I and you, Tunaweza okoka, na sisi tukiokoka na kumjua kristo, mungu walikuwa anataka, aweze kuinua jealousy. Waone vile mungu anatufeva, na hizi promises zilikuwa zao, and then they will be jealous of us, and that jealousy, it will move them to put their trust in God. So God is not yet through with Israel, but because they rejected the Messiah, he has kept them aside to bring in the Gentiles so that they can be saved. And finally, if you read the whole book of Romans chapter 11, you will see finally all Israel will be saved. I want you to go and read. If you want to to understand the history, the present, and the future of Israel, go and read Romans chapter 9, 10, and 11. Read those three chapters together. Chapter 9, it will talk about Israel's past, how they were. And chapter 10 of Romans chapter 10, it talks about Israel's present, how they are in relation to they are the promises of God. And chapter 11, it talks of Israel's future, where it ends by saying, and all Israel shall be saved. Praise God. Now, listen to a very interesting message, part three. During the tribulation period, as I talk about part three, I want to talk about three things. Number one, Evangelism, salvation, and martyrdom during the tribulation period. I will deal with those three things. Please don't, don't get lost. Evangelism, salvation, and martyrdom. Mataya, ile tulikuwa tunaita matia or mataya. Mateira. Martyrdom. During the pre-tribulation period. Kuna mambo matatu. Listen. Kuna wakati huwa miaka saba. Kutakuwa na evangelism. Itakuwa inafanywa. Na siyo kanisa. It will not be you. So I want to tell you. Wacha kusema ate. The Bible says that the gospel will be preached to all nations. And then the end will come. That prophecy was not talking to the church. And, they are, and that is what we teach. Tunasema, wacheni tuhubiri, watu wote wasikie injili, na tukihubiri mpaka watu wote wasikie, mwisho utakuja. It is not true. That is not the, inter, the correct interpretation. By the way, wakati kanisa itakuwa raptured, mungu watainua evangelists wengine, ambao watafanya kazi kubwa kuliko sisi, ile ambayo tumefanya. Na kwa sababu hiyo, hayo mambo matatu tutayaona. Kutakuwa na nini? Evangelism. Ata wakati huu Antichrist anawana, watu, kuna watu watakuwa wanafanya evangelism. Kuna watu wataokoka. Na kwa sababu ya kuokoka, kuna watu watawawa. The martyrs. And we will call, those who are killed during the tribulation period, we call them the tribulation saints. The tribulation saints. Wale ambao watakubali maneno ya wahubiri, watakao kuwa wakihubiri, na wataokoka, 
lakini watauawa kwa sababu ya ushuhuda wa Kristo wale tunawaita tribulation saints watakatifu watakao toka kwenye wakati wa ugumu now so during the tribulation period there will be great evangelism great salvation and great martyrdom people who will die for their faith there are three groups of evangelists that will be doing evangelism during the tribulation period wakati wa tribulation period kutakuwa na vikundi vitatu ambazo Mungu mwenyewe atainua watakao kuwa wanafanya kazi ya uijilisti na ninasema hivi hawatakuwa sisi hawatakuwa watu wa kanisa maana kanisa itakuwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoo the wedding feast of the lamb as it is highlighted in revelation 19 lakini these three groups will be the ones who will who will be preaching write them then i will discuss each number one, we will have the first kind of the group of evangelists number one, we will have the 144000 jews 144000 jews 12000 from the 12 tribes of israel kila kabila ya Israel walikuwa makabila mangapi na wawili. katika yale makabila kumi na, ma, na, na mawili Mungu atainua kutoka kwa kabila watu elfu kumi na wawili. 12000 from 12 tribes so that one 12000 times 12 it comes to 144000 Number two kind of group that will be doing evangelism we call them the two witnesses how to tawaona ni kina nani the second kind of evangelist is the two witnesses mashahidi wale wawili number three, we have the angel with the everlasting gospel the angel from heaven with the everlasting gospel huyo ndiye atakuwa wa mwisho by the way hii injili itahubiriwa mpaka na malaika na atakuwa kule mbinguni hata kuja hapa duniani atakuwa flying na atakuwa akihubiri the everlasting gospel kwa watu wote na watamsikiza so let's talk about the 144000 jews 144 Jews who will be there Revelation chapter 7 from verse 1 to 8 Let's read there Revelation chapter 7 from verse 1 to 8 Now look at this Wewe angalia neno After these things I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth holding the four winds I don't want to go into details. I'm not doing ex, what do we call exposition of the Bible, but I'm just highlighting. So, from the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, on the sea or on any tree. Look at verse 2. Then I saw another angel. If you can give me with this screen it would be better. Yeah, for I follow with this rather than just following from here or there. Then I I saw another angel this ascending from the east yes having look at that the angel was having the seal of the living god and he cried with the a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea sasa kuna malaika wanne wamepewa nguvu ya kumaliza ulimwengu na bahari lakini mmoja wa malaika mwingine akaja akiwa na seal ya Mungu akawaambia 
saying to them, do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees until we have sealed. Please underline that. We have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. And look at this. And I heard the number of those who were sealed. 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel were sealed. Of the tribe of Judah, 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben, all the 12 tribes now. So, this is what will happen. At the beginning of the tribulation period, Mungu anapo achilia gadhabu yake, now, the 144,000 Jews will do their ministry in the first three and a half years. The ministry of the 144 itakuwa during the first three and a half years. And this is what happened. There are four things I want you to hear to Mesoma Kutoka Pale. They will be 144,000 and they will be Jews. I know Jehovah Witnesses say they are the ones who are the 144,000. That's wrong doctrine. That's the teaching of the Jehovah Witnesses. But the Bible says they are from the tribes of Israel. Are you from the tribe of Israel? If they were to Mojiro. Mojiro na moga shokire. <laughs> now they will be they will be 144,000 and they will be Jews from each tribe of the 12 tribes 12,000 each number 2 they will be selected by God Mungu atawachagua mwenyewe number 3 they will be sealed with the seal of God on their foreheads. Mungu atawachagua mwenyewe na atawaweka seal muhuri ya Mungu katika forehead ama utosi on the forehead. Hapa na kila mtu atakapo patana na wao atakuwa anawajua maana kwenye utosi wao watakuwa na nini na the seal remember also the antichrist will have a seal with the number 666 ukisoma revelation 13 na pia ya antichrist Itawekwa kwenye forehead ama kwenye mkono. Ya antichrist, it will be a number. In fact, it will be like a microchip yenye tukonayo siku hizi. That is why I told you, ni lazima kila kitu kiwe tayari so that when the antichrist comes, it is like the whole high table will be ready. And the Antichrist will come and flow. Ndiyo maana unaona the advancement of technology. That you can have a microchip. And you can go anywhere. And the, it will be scanned. It will be scanned. Iyo ndiyo itakuwa. Through now technology we see the, how possible it is. Very much possible. Ndiyo maana nyinyi ni nawambia. Tumieni yata science. Ata mambo ya technology, muangalie mambo ya livio ya naendelea na ili mjue, this is fulfilling prophecy. It is actually making it very possible for this Bible to be fulfilled. Kwa hivyo, Antichrist atakuja na namba yake, naye mungu. Atasema apana. Kabla ya watu kuwekwa namba ya Antichrist, God will say, 
go and seal my servants. They will be God's. Number four, we are saying they will be God's servants during the tribulation period. The 144,000 they will be God's servants and God's representatives during the tribulation period. And I want everybody to hear this. The 144,000 when you were on a seal, Antichrist akikutana na wao. Ata kama hawana mark ya Antichrist. Maana, when you watakata mark ya Antichrist, watawawa. Because Antichrist will be having his agent. You get it now? Lakini hawa, when you watakua na mark ya mungu, it is the seal of God. Antichrist will not harm them. Not because they will be powerful, but God will preserve them and will protect them from harm. Now, number five, they will be divinely protected or preserved from harm by the Antichrist. They will be divinely protected or preserved from harm by the Antichrist. Ukitaka vizuri soma Revelation chapter 9 verse 4. This is the greatest word. Now please listen to my message today. You will, you will be delivered. Now look at this. They were commanded not to harm the grass of the earth or any green thing or any tree but they were commanded to hurt only those men who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. So, those who had the seal of God on their foreheads, they were not harmed. God preserved them. Do you know why? Imagine... And I will also go back to that in another way. Imagine wakati kutakuwa na maovu mengi na watu wengi watakuwa wanauawa kuna kikundi ambacho mungu ataweka sili yake, muhuri wake na wakiwekwa ata yule muwaji akipatana na wao akiona wakona sili ya mungu Kama vile malaika alieenda pale misri. Alipo kuwa kwenye usiku wa Passover. Alipo ingia kwenye kila nyumba. Hajui nyumba ya muisraeli na nyumba ya, m, m, ya, ya misri. Lakini yaliambiwa Kila nyumba ambayo utakayo ingia. Na ukute hakuna alama. Na I believe the seal of God will be the seal of the cross. Na kila nyumba malaika akaambiwa kule Misri utakapokuta hakuna alama ya damu unaua kule iwe ni Misri ama ni Muisraeli lakini ukipata damu you pass over they were preserved during that time na the following day all Egypt was mourning because their firstborns were killed but kwa wa Israeli, there was no mourning because they were preserved by the mark of the blood. Brethren, during the tribulation, the Antichrist will kill everyone. Lakini, akipatana na wale wakona alama. Ile alama itawambia, these ones belong to God. And you cannot harm them. You know for what? I can tell you the Bible says when we were born again, we were sealed. Praise God. The Bible says we were sealed with the Holy Ghost waiting for our redemption. So right now, you have the seal 
of God. And there is nothing that can harm you. If they could not harm the Israelites in Egypt because of the mark of the blood. If the Antichrist, the wicked person, will not be able to harm the people who have the seal of God. Today I believe I have the seal of God. And there is no devil. There is no witch. There is nothing that can be able to harm me. You know why? The Bible says uh, the Lord knows those who are his and he knows how to deliver them. He will never allow their foot to be moved for he that watches over Israel, he is keeping them. God is keeping you. Hallelujah! I want to tell you today the Lord has sealed you and therefore I wish, that is why I told you today's message, it will change you. Nobody can harm you because you have the seal of God. Forget those who are saying they will bewitch you. Antichrist will be greater than the witches. But Antichrist will see the forehead and will see the seal of God and God will restrain him. The angel of God killed the Egyptians, but even kwa wale wa Israeli yule alikuwa mnyonge sana, kama kulikuwa na alama ya damu, nobody could touch them. Let me tell you, we are divinely preserved by God. Wherever, where I am, Ata kama uovu utatendeka, God will preserve me. And if he allows it to happen to me, it is because my work is over. I was encouraging Elder Stanley yesterday with a testimony I had from a certain man of God. He is now around 85 years. Na alikuwa anasema, akiwa kijana mdogo, pastor mdogo, I'm a, a young pastor. Alikuwa naogopa sana akienda na ndege. Maana alikuwa anafikiria what if something happens over my, over me and I die and I leave my young wife and my young children. And he was always afraid. And he felt like he could pray for God, protect me, deliver me from evil. It is good to pray. But he went to an old muse. Now, that man now, he is 85. At that time, he went to an old preacher. And he was sharing his fears. Who you muse akamuambia, listen to this. I wrote it down. Mana huyo muse alikuwa. Now the man wrote it down. What he was told by that muse. And when I heard him say that. I also wrote it down. And it has delivered me. Brothers. I get delivered day by day. Anytime I get the word. And that is why I believe. Ali muambia. Young pastor. Listen. Get these words. And these are the words that he told him. A man of God in the center of God's will is immortal until God is done with him. Mimi nilisikia hiyo neno alimwambia a man of God in the center of God's will is immortal until God is done with him. Ati mtu wa mungu. Na siyo tu pastor. Mtu wa mungu. Ambaye yuko katika. Mapenzi ya mungu. Ako katikati ya kutekeleza. Mapenzi ya mungu. Huyo mtu anadumu milele. Mpaka mungu amalizane na yeye. Na ndiyo maana. Gayatari kaneti enawe. Gotire kedo kege kweheri ya gokode. Corona cannot remove you here until God is with you. No accident can, no robber. They will be coming, but the Lord will be saying, no, that man, I am not yet through with him. That doesn't mean you become careless. 
na kwamba hufungi mlango e maana tumeambiwa sasa mimi hakuna mtu ananiondoa hapa hapana don't put the lord yesu aliambiwa jisimamishe jiangushe ili tuone lakini akasema put your god not to that doesn't mean you you fly with your car 180 speed and you say you know pastor said a man of god will be preserved no you will be dead and you will die because of your foolishness lakini i want you to know today and this one has delivered me if god can preserve 144,000 that even antichrist cannot touch them there is nobody that can touch me hata ukirushwa kwenye tundu la simba kama daniel god will say i am not yet through with daniel he can't die wakati wanarushwa kwa moto they paul alikuwa anapigwa na mawe wanaacha amekufa jamaa anainuka na anaendelea na injili maana Mungu hajamalizana na yeye alikuwa anaingia baharini wan, wanakuwa yani the boat capsizes they are drowned lakini jamaa anainuka you know why god will preserve us i want to tell you hii injili ya kwamba unakimbizwa na wachawi wacha wakimbie lakini yule wanakimbiza ako na seal ya Mungu and i will show you somewhere else where this will there is divine protection and listen divine protection does not happen because you pray or because you sow a seed no god himself has sealed you and if you don't believe one day go and read the book of job chapter 1 Shetani alienda anataka kumaliza Ayubu. Na kila wak- na ni shetani mwenyewe waacha mwinjilisti wa shetani. Waacha kwa workers ama agents. Shetani alienda kwa Ayubu na anataka kumaliza Ayubu na watoto na hata mali yake. Lakini alijaribu hakuweza. Alienda kwa Mungu na mudhikirie wira wa shetani. This is the testimony of the devil. Shetani alienda akamwambia Mungu, nimejaribu lakini sijaweza. Mungu alimuuliza, umemuona mtumishi wangu Ayubu? Shetani akasema, nimemuona. Lakini look at the next verse. Look at, I want you to Satan asked God. Satan answered and said, does God does Job fear God for nothing. Look at this. Have you not made a hedge around him? Wacha hii mafuta ya kusema unazungusha nyumba yako. Wacha hii chumvi unaenda unauziwa ya, ku, ya kuzungusha kwa, kwa biashara. You don't need a, uh, you don't need salt. You don't need to pay money for anything. There is a hedge and the one who has made it is God. Nikuriru igrigor we kireto na ngai ni we orwe kirete and God is the one that mans ni we orugitagira look at this have you na ne woira wa goma then na wanyu mutie dete woira wa goma ana mutie dete maudu ma goma no ni ani dreda maudu ma goma e ha ha ni ne gweda maudu ma goma when you hear what the devil is saying brothers you will be delivered i mambo ya kila wakati i am giving 10000 ninunue mafuta ya kujikinga kujikinga nini what can your 10000 do na ndio maana kizazi tunatolewa tunanyakuliwa na kudanganywa na pesa ya kwamba this is anointing oil go and and know which can be able to touch you sasa huyo pastor akikufa na, ma, na anointing yake haitoki sasa utatoa ingine wapi Sasa ndio maana brothers I don't know for how long I will tell you get to know the word and you will realize you don't need to do anything for yourself because God has done it Sasa shetani anasema have you not made a hedge around him around his household and around all that he has on every side every side 
you have blessed shetani alikuwa anasema yeye mwenyewe ninataka kumumaliza na ajali siwezi nataka kumaliza watoto wake siwezi hata mali yake siwezi maana umemzingira ayubu hakuwa it is a hedge you can't see but the devil can see it even the angel of death would see the blood and one guy every witch and every evil man that comes they will always see the bible says because you have made the lord even the most high you are refuge he will, he has set his angels around you and they will take charge over you and they will carry you arai kama kwa keire herere amen and that is why the bible says when they were few in number walikuwa wanaongozwa na Mungu pale jangwani he allowed no one to harm them and on their behalf he rebuked kings telling them touch not my anointed ones neither do my prophets any harm and these are not pastors he was talking about the whole nation of israel because they were his anointed ones and his prophets you are also the anointed one hayo maandiko sio ya pastor hayo maandiko ni ya watu wote you are also a touch not praise god Waje kusema hiyo maandiko ni ya mapasta ati pasta anasema hey, touch not the anointed one tell him also i am the scripture it applied to the whole nation not to moses or joshua i am preserved high five your neighbor mwambie umelindwa hivyo hata ukilala wacha kusema ninasikia mapaka yanapitia kwa mabati ni ngo kwa kugera ga nyau odaga sigereko na nyau ni guo siendete mafati ni otuko na na hiyo paka ni kama ati sijui kwangu niliona brothers during the tribulation period antichrist will not be able to touch them they will be preserved and that is why i want you to know god has sealed you we have the seal of god and he will preserve us and listen about the the 144 they will be raptured to heaven after the first three and a half years the 144 will be raptured after 144 i mean after the first three and a half years they will be raptured na kazi yao itakuwa nini Mungu amesema they will be his servants so kuna kazi Mungu atakuwa they will i believe the 144 will be serving God they will be ministering they will be preaching ndio maana ninakuambia if you say you will not preach when you will not be there there will be others It, they will be raptured all of them now it now jue mungu listen to me elder julius you know how god is serious in preserving them now look at this their preservation and their sealing ile seal wamewekwa wamewekwa in the beginning si ndio now john he saw them after three and a half years in heaven and he did not see 143000 he saw 144 meaning all of them all of them that is why sia kesio the noiga kinya na no akai honokia do you know ezra in the book of ezra chapter 8 when they were leaving babylon he was afraid to ask the king of the god majeshi maana ile njia walikuwa wanaipitia ilikuwa na, na, na evil people who were willing people na hakuna mtu angepitia lakini alikuwa amemwambia tuko na Mungu wetu anaweza kutulinda lakini usitupatie majeshi mfalme akauliza do you know that path nobody gets there na hawa sio watu wawili during the time of Ezra they went about approximately 49000 na ile njia ilikuwa ni kama ile njia unatoka hapa unaenda Somali iko na Al Shabab ama ile njia ya wote 
Lakini they are there. Ezra alimwambia, don't give us escorts. At the river of Ahava, Ezra 8 verse 20 and 21. He told the people, let us fast and make a prayer unto our God that he may protect us. And the Bible says, he went with no guards. And after a journey of around four months, they all reached Jerusalem. Now all of them, they made it without the protection of the king. For they, he had told them, we have our God that is able to preserve us. Brothers and sisters, where God had said you will reach, you will go. You will make it. I'm telling you, you will make it. Because the Lord will keep you. For he says, he who keeps Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. Mumenyereli wa Israeli, dasho gaga, kana kahetuwa netoro. Noto ga kinya. Hula modu haifayo mwere noto ga kinya. If you noto koimera, okay, let me tell you, even if the witches who have been bewitching me or bewitching you, they recruit 10,000 more. Gaya tauge tewera no wadhira. Otire kedoge ga kweheli ya gokothe. Na nekeo, when you see Miles Monroe dying because of an air crash, I believe the work was over. When you see Angela Chibalonza dying through a road accident, maana kuna watu hapo amepitia maramingi, how many times did Miles fly? Na alikuwa na private jet many times. But why at that time? Todo, it is when the time comes na the Lord says, you are work. Jesus, nobody could kill him. They would arrest him and wa the, the, to throw him. Nobody could kill him because he said, my time has not come. Nobody can remove you here before your time. And when your time comes, then the Lord will say, good and faithful servant, and then you will make it to heaven. He will preserve you. Now, I, I was saying, he saw in the beginning 144. Let me read for you another scripture. Revelation chapter 14, verse 1 to 5. The 144, look at this. Then I looked and behold a lamb standing on Mount Zion and with him 144. 44,000 having his father's name. Now we know the seal. It had the father's name on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven. Like the voice of many waters. Many waters talk of many people. And like the voice of a loud thunder. And I heard the voice of the sound of the harpists playing their harps. They, they sang, how are water? They sang as it were a new song before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders. And no one could learn that song except the 144,000 who were redeemed from the earth. No, they were redeemed. But by the way, you never know, you never know. What the word redeemed means. Come on Sunday. I will be preaching about the word redeem. Aduaka nida. Inyo mutiri akore. Sunday. Muga akoro. I heard this word. That word redeemed. We have only been hearing redeemed. Christ my redeemer. Si kuna statue yake pale Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, you, 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 you go there, Rio de Janeiro, and there is Christ the Redeemer, whatever, statue there. Now, on Sunday, I will be talking about Christ. You know it is Easter. I will be talking about Christ the Redeemer. Adua kanitha mutire muamenya Christo. Ginya mumenya, tigaru muhonokia. Eh, tiga ukuka kwa mohonoki. Uu tuwa lagi horo wa Kristo. 
uria mogori mukori wakwa tukaina rwebo rwa kristo now they were read- these are the ones now the 144 listen these are the ones who were not defiled with women no sexual immorality for they were virgins they are, these are the ones who follow the lamb wherever he goes these were redeemed from among men and listen they will be the first fruits of the redemption from tribulation now number 2 we have the 144000 number 2 we have the two witnesses i will deal with that on on wednesday and wa guy hata nikijaribu kuwahubiria hii haitaisha hii hii ya two witnesses na ile kwanza ya malaika mwenye atakuwa the greatest evangelist hiyo haitaisha wacha tukue na hawa 144 but one good thing is they were sealed they were preserved and the bible says now why why didn't you get me that verse is it in the book of ephesians whereby the bible says when you received christ oh thank you our brother thank you for that verse after the service ask me for a quarter uradeka niki we ukumuheteke eyama hu kare ahinduke naje now listen uh, <laughs> no Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 now please my dear brothers and sisters whom i love so much look at what the bible says in christ you also trusted after you heard the word of the truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also having believed you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. The Holy Spirit is the seal of every believer. I am sealed. And we have, now if I had time I would have shown you in the book of Ezekiel where God said, can you seal Akira Mudueta go Jazania to seal those who were in the Old Testament and they would not be harmed because there is always a relation with sealing and preservation. When we talk of seal, seal shows ownership. Seal ilikuwa ni kama watu wakienda kununua vitu ungetoa deposit then inawekwa seal na kwa sababu mko nchi ya mbali hiyo seal ndio zikitumwa kwa nchi yenu you will just go and look at the seal and you will be able to say the seal bears my name therefore this thing is mine ownership the seal means god owns me the seal of the 144 shows they belong to god and therefore they don't belong to antichrist and because they belong to god what is mine i always protect it that is why because you are god's it is his responsibility to protect you Aduangai, listen, I know you can pray for divine protection. It's good. I know, yes, it is like the title deed. That, the, the deposit, like a title deed, it owns. Whenever you have a title deed, it shows ownership. Now, you have the Holy Spirit, and it is like the title deed. Wakati mu ukiangalia hii shamba ya kanisa, Iko na title deed. Ata mukienda kwa serikali. Brothers, there is no case. Ukisema ni yako, tuende kwa search. 
itaonyesha ni ya nani ni ya kanisa and the church will own it that is what it means when you got born again ownership changed the devil owned your family na ndio maana laana za kwenu zingewafikia na mambo hayo lakini ulipookoka ni kama title deed ukifanya wa search leo ownership inaonyesha god owns you and because god owns you god is committed to protect you brothers and sisters i'm not afraid psalm 27 verse 1 everyone standing as we read that if i can preach and preach you know i have not been with you for some time therefore i'm i'm, I'm almost bloated <laughs> I'm almost bloated. Now, look at this. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength that protects my life. Of whom shall I be afraid of? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and my foes, they stumbled and fell. You know why? Though an army may encamp against me. Unasikia? Jeshi hata likinizingira. My heart shall not fear. Though war may, may rise against me. In this I will be confident. One thing have I desired. And this will I seek. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he will hide me. Praise God. He shall hide me in his pavilion. In the sacred place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore I will offer sacrifices of joy in the tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. He will hide me. I will lift up my head. Brothers, even if anami, wacha mchawi moja. Even if it is an army. A battalion get in this I will be confident. Brothers, when you know and when you hear this word, how they were sealed and Antichrist cannot touch them. Brothers, no one can touch you. Amen. You are preserved. You are protected. Lift up your hands. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. Give thanks.